in one of the most anticipated events of the year that makes people with the old iPhone go <coughs> Calm down mate yeah? We saw the launch of the new Apple products, well newish. And oh yeah, Steve Jobs might be alive in Egypt. <laughs> there was a two hour keynote speech which was streamed on YouTube and to be fair I think I could summarize it in three points. Number one, it's all about the three cameras on the back and if you're not too much into photography then yeah it's pretty much useless. Number two, the Apple Watch never turns off and the iPad is faster. And number three, Apple TV Plus has got some exclusive new content but let's face it one of them was about Jason Momoa being blind, another one an ex-friends actress and another one about a typical hijabi that oh wants freedom and doesn't want to be a hijabi anymore. Yeah right like we haven't seen that for the hundredth time. But it was the three cameras at the back that sent the Twitterverse into a meme frenzy. I mean it was being compared to all sorts. A fidget spinner, the Philip shaver, a coconut, a bowling ball and even a stove. It even triggered some budding futurists to assume that if Apple's camera fetish continues then we might end up with some remote control looking device. Savage. There were also another group of unexpected people who got triggered and they are people with something called trypophobia which is a fear of holes. And of course like I said Steve Jobs supposedly was spotted in Egypt. A theorists have suggested that considering he's fair skinned, he's got Arab roots, he likes the simple lifestyle, it's not too far fetched to assume that he faked his own death just to get away from the hustle and the bustle. What do you guys think? Do you think he faked his own death? As always a triggered far right bloke said how comes he went to that terrorist country Egypt? Well mate considering he spent most of his life in a country that let's face it drops bombs every 12 minutes statistically I think his standards were quite low to begin with. Anyways guys remember if you're blessed with wealth and you genuinely want to buy it, go ahead buy it, no one's stopping you. But just make sure it's for the right reasons yeah. Filling a void of being relevant or feeling part of a community is not a good enough reason because after a week you're gonna get bored and your problems and issues are gonna resurface because that hole hasn't been filled. So what's better is to ask yourself what am I missing and give that the attention it deserves. And remember guys, own your possessions. Don't let your possessions own you. And let's face it, considering it costs about a thousand dollars, if you can't afford it, just do what this guy did. Alright guys, let's leave it there for now. Until next time. Do a video. Salamu alaikum.